Some hot news coming from Italy now, from Campi Flegre, the supervolcano near Naples. Boiling seawater at Bagnoli. And a politician, an MP, has looked at that and he was concerned. So he called the Vesuvius Observatory to confirm what that is and if it, that is of any concern that the supervolcano might do something. And the mayor of Pozzoli has just announced there is another earthquake swarm going on as we speak at Campi Flegri, highest magnitude 2.2 so far. Lots in the smaller magnitudes as well. And the new bulletin has come out. So this is what we will speak about in this video. But I know what you want to see first, guys. I think I do. You want to see the boiling waters. You want to see if the swimmers are cooking there like boiling chickens. Let's have a look. So, and for those who now say this is a serious topic, you can't have any humor there. Yes, you can, because what else can we do, guys? It's catastrophic enough. So sometimes we have to take it with a little smile on our faces. So main tourist season, lots of tourists there that want to swim in the beautiful sea there, beautiful area. But if the water is boiling out of the ordinary and you know you're sitting on top of a super volcano, it, <laughs> Campi Flegre, the burning fields, that's the name. And it stretches over 100 kilometers, like 70 miles. This is not like Vesuvius, that is one cone, one stratovolcano that dominates the landscape if you're in Naples. You see this guy everywhere. And by the way, in the new earthquake swarm, Vesuvius is saying hello quite a few times as well. We just recently learned in one of my videos whether Campi Flegre and Vesuvius are connected and whether they're sending the magma back and forth between them like a game of tennis. I'll put that video in the end screen. That is interesting and lets you think, in my opinion. So, Bagnoli Beach headlines, the sea is boiling. The politician MP Francesco Emilio Borelli has inspected the site and came to the conclusion we need the Vesuvius Observatory. That is part of the INGV, the Italian Institute of Geosciences, Volcanology, Seismology. They're surveilling the supervolcano 24 7. So the sea was observed to be boiling in the so-called Isthmus area. That is directly across from the former Italsider Pier. You see this here on the landscape. And uh, a gas leak was detected in the seawater near the shore in the past few hours. Now you might wonder, gas leak what are we talking about a pipeline or are we talking about volcanic gases so imagine the beach was crowded with swimmers beach was full water was full many were sunbathing many were swimming into the water but this is not really suitable for swimming so Francesco Emilio Borelli, he's the Green Left Alliance, has visited the scene and has documented this phenomenon. Very, very curious, has taken a lot of pictures and videos and has also interviewed some of the swimmers. So he has also conducted an inspection of all the public beaches there in the area. And if we look at his video, it clearly shows gas emissions into the sea. Fuma Roles, not an underground gas pipeline. I don't know which is worse. I would say super volcanic Fuma Roles. I mean, there are Fuma Roles around volcanoes. And if we have a super volcano here, the caldera stretches into the water, of course, we see something into the water, but obviously this was out of the ordinary, not a normal daily occurrence. Otherwise, people would not have been so on alert. So what was seen is a continuous jet of, of gas that obviously produces bubbles in the water. They're coming up from the seabed. 
and then they bubble on the surface like a, a jetted top. That's it's kind of scary for me. I mean, I swim almost everywhere, but when this is underneath you and you know this is a boiling super volcano that is acting up, and, and uh, if you have seen my previous videos with all the new studies that are out, uh, I would get out of the water as quickly as possible. Of course, in case of an eruption, that doesn't help you anything. Maybe that is just psychologically. So Borelli has said, Continuous jets of gas bubbles that are rising from the seabed to the surface, a peculiar phenomenon. He said in an interview, we contacted the Vesuvius Observatory to find out if the phenomenon is volcanic. But other possibilities are not ruled out. They could even be air bubbles, he said. So in short, he said, there is no need to be alarmist among the hypothesis the possibility that the bubbles could originate from underground pipes or other sources hasn't been ruled out at the moment. <laughs> we know the super volcano. That would be a coincidence, guys. So the Vesuvius Observatory came and basically they said, this is a known phenomenon, it's CO2. And if you remember, they have detected a lot of CO2 gas in the Pozzoli area, in public buildings, in schools, in basements. People were feeling dizzy, they were feeling like they're fainting. And then they discovered this, that the volcano is leaking this CO2 gas. And of course, it stretches into the water. So why wouldn't it release this into the water? But is it an increase in fumaroles. We have land rise, we have earthquakes, and we have so many studies. The last one just found the fuse, a one kilometer long fuse, 0 0.7 miles, that might be the pipe that lets the magma to the surface. So there is reason to be concerned if you find something like this. So Vesuvius Observatory says these are gas leaks, from the volcano, mainly CO2, that are happening underwater. City of Naples has been made aware of this and they say has been aware of this. So it seems to be a common phenomenon. Um, this is a thermal area in this area. So and it occurred in a thermal area. So they're saying, well, we're not super surprised. But then, of course, you have these earthquake swarms all the time. And I'm always a little bit, the mayor of Pozzoli always says, I announced the earthquake swarm has ended. And then a few hours, I announced a new earthquake swarm has begun. I mean, maybe he is hoping that when he announced the end, that this is really the end. But to me, it's basically a continuous swarm of earthquakes, even if there's a daybreak. But even if there's only a few hours, they sometimes announce the end and then they have to announce another one. So what defines that is that psychologically to give the people a relief to say, ah, it's not continuously, don't worry, it has ended. And then the next day, oopsie, a new one, right? So today, we have a new earthquake swarm. If you look at the earthquake list, at the recent earthquake list, not so much, right? We will get to that list in a minute because we still have to talk a little bit about the underwater fumaroles. So these, how they call it, the boiling sea, the boiling waters, have been frequently sighted before in the Gulf of Pozzuoli, that is part of the supervolcanic caldera. Sailors, fishermen, tourists have seen it. And in some cases, the fumarures have even been captured on video by divers. So in this case that we're dealing with here, the fumaroles are linked to volcanic gas emissions from the seabed and the Campi Fligri hydrothermal system. And they do have a underwater monitoring system for the Campi Fligri caldera. It's called Medusa. So the scientists say we've been studying these phenomena for years using the Medusa system. So they have sensors on the ground and they have buoys on top of the water. And this system, unfortunately, is repeatedly being damaged intentionally 
or unintentionally by boulders. Which is kind of crazy because the buoy is quite big that you see on top of the water. So you have to be pretty inexperienced or the word with D that ends with a B as a boulder that you really drive over it and then get entangled with your keel or your rudder and really destroy it. So really, this is a big issue. The INGV is very, very frustrated about this and, and they're their suspicion is that they are intentionally damaged and so are their measuring instruments on land repeatedly their batteries are being stolen or stuff is being flipped over which thieves if you hear that this is pretty stupid because if you live in that area that can save your life these instruments so you're basically cutting the branch that you're sitting off so to speak we also have these boiling waters, these fumaroles in Lake Averno at the Pozzuoli dock, right at Pozzuoli, even in the Baia Underwater Archaeological Park. So they're everywhere. Well, I'm not surprised because the volcano is present. So let's talk about the beaches of Bagnoli and what the people have been doing there and whether they are supposed to do what they're doing. So Borelli has also addressed the presence of swimmers in the Bagnoli Sea. There are private beaches, but there's also public beaches in this area. And overall, this is what the, the, the officials are always warning, warning. The sea in this area is not suitable for swimming. The beach can only be used for heliotherapy the, because there's heavy metals present in this area. And why are there heavy metals? Unfortunately, there has been a factory that has polluted the beaches and the water there. Some scientists say, ah, there has been like seagrass growing. There has been some kind of natural reclamation, but hey, um, I wouldn't swim there. The factory was abandoned some 35 years ago, but, um, I guess after that, maybe they are able to do some testing and, and verify all this. So mayor of Pozzuoli has just announced a new earthquake swarm, but we, if we look at the list and on the list, you see everything that's magnitude 1.0 and higher, but there's many, many more that are in the micro seismic area, lower than magnitude one. Um, I can show you that graph you hear on the, on the left, you can see the smaller ones, but I think to get a better overview, I always like to show you the other list. So let's get back to the other list. And you see here, the latest one is 1.0 zero and then 1.0 2.2 i'm going from top to down and on the 16th 1.4 so is this a new one on the 17th or is this a continuous one right this is the question 1.1 on the 16th 1.2 on the 16th 1.0 on the 15th so we had some on the 14th, we had quite a few on the 14th, including Vesuvius that has been rumbling quite a bit. And uh, then, okay, we had a day break and then Campi Fligri again on the 12th, continuously going down to the 11th with 2.3 and so on, yada, yada, yada. So for me, let me know in the comments, is this a continuous earthquake swarm? Would you declare it ended somewhere in that list? or not. This is the interesting part. And if we have a look at the epicenter of the magnitude 2.2, that's always the most interesting one. Yeah, we're not really surprised where that is. It's a little bit north of Pozzuoli. And what I always do not like when the epicenters are exactly in this area, you see there's the Tangenziale di Napoli. This is their main artery that they will be using for evacuation and where this earthquake is now, this is actually at the crossing of multiple roads that are being used for evacuation that are going from south to north from the sea up there. So the Via Tangenziale has a lot of bridges and a lot of shady stuff that I think is not upgraded yet. They have announced that they need at least till 2027 to upgrade that. So should something happen right now and something collapses at the Via Tangenziale, you can throw your whole evacuation plan in the trash. So that's why I don't like that epicenter. 
Let's have a look at the latest bulletin if we can draw any conclusions from that. What stands out to me from that bulletin, and I'll start with that before I give you the other information, that in the Solfatara crater, and that is probably the most likely area for a potential eruption, that might be more likely or more imminent than you might think. I mean, for the ones of you that have seen my last videos about the recent studies that have come out, you might understand why I'm saying this. So the Fumarole, is, that is called BG, that is monitored by the FLXOV5 station, shows a continued warming trend, and it has an average temperature right now of 165 degrees Celsius. So this is continuously increasing. So this is the bulletin for the week of August 4th till August 10th. They say 53 earthquakes in the Campi Flegri area. Yeah, this is an earthquake swarm, a continuous one. Those are the ones magnitude zero or higher. Maximum in that week was 2.2. .2. What about the land rise, the ground deformation? has continued to be recorded with an average monthly value of about 1.5 centimeters. That is basically that much. So that hasn't changed, is steadily, continuously inflating like a balloon underneath the surface is continuously blowing up until it reaches the point of maximum elasticity. And how close we are to that, guys, check out my playlist, Campi Flegri. Go to my channel start page, click on playlist and look at Campi Flegri at the latest videos. You'll really have to see that if you're interested in that. So geochemistry, what's going on there that is maybe interesting. Um, no significant variations were observed in the monitored geochemical parameters. Um, the known trends of increased gas flows and increased heating of the hydrothermal system of the volcano continues. So it's steadily increasing there as well. And then they always have a section, expected scenarios, based on the current picture of volcanic activity outlined above, there are no elements suggesting significant short-term developments. <laughs> so short-term, does that mean within the next hours, within the next day? Because short-term can be very, very short, according to quite a few scientists, especially when it comes to a phreatic eruption. So guys, I will monitor this for you as always. And as many seasoned scientists in the area say, monitoring doesn't guarantee you safety. You're just monitoring that this thing is going to blow up. I mean, hopefully not, but you know what I mean. This is what the scientists are saying. Check out the videos in the end screen, guys. Lots of interesting stuff is happening. That Alaskan landslide, now the new data and pictures and graphs are coming out. Very, very interesting stuff if you're interested in that. If you want to fill me up with coffee to keep me going, it's greatly appreciated. It, guys. Buymeacoffee.com slash silky link is in the description underneath this video. Just scroll down a little bit, click the join button to become a supporting member of the channel for behind the scene videos. Thank you for your supers. Thank you for being here, guys. You're absolutely awesome and stay safe and stay, stay out of bubbling weird waters. Promise me and I see you in a second if you click here. Bye.